Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Marie. I'm here at Garrett Michael Barbershop in downtown Salt Lake City. Um, this is my husband Eli. I'm going to be trimming his beard today. Okay, so we cut his hair earlier, gave him a nice low fade. Um, we're gonna blend this in here, taper it down nice and tight. He likes to keep this really full. Why don't you tell me what you would like, honey? Okay. Let's talk about how you want it. <laughs> um, so like a nice straight line there from where you fade it. Um, short mustache, kind of fade it down in as well. And then shorten this up, fade it. Uh, like a straight line on the sides. Kind of a square, full look. Okay. And then uh, just get all the dead ends and anything else you see. Okay. So I'm pro he's pretty thin down here, so I'm probably going to take about at least a good inch off, maybe an inch and a half. Um, we're going to give him a nice square shape here. Um, like I said, he likes to keep this really full, so I'm not going to touch this much. I'm just going to fade, taper down here, taper his mustache. We'll blend his mustache into the beard. I'm going to clean up down here pretty well. I'm not going to touch the neck hair. Do you want it? If you want a full long beard, this is a common mistake that men make is they shave the neckline up too high. But this hair down here is where you're going to get that girth and that really, really full beard. Okay, let's get started. All right. So we took him down to um, the trimmers. I like to use these and his um, slim lines. Um, so I'm going to use that to just fade him down a little bit. And the fade is a really small area right here because this is from here down. He gets thin. So this is where I want to just keep this fade right here. To get really, really tight, I also like to use Andis Masters. Start out with them totally closed. Open it up just a little bit. And again, I'm keeping my fade really, really small. My movement's really small. Dropping it down just a little bit more. And that's about all the fading I'm gonna do there. I also like to use my mirror to double check. When you use your mirror, you're, you're doubling your distance. So you can see what he's gonna look like from across the room. Very important. It is very important. So now I'm just gonna line the cheek and he likes to keep his cheek line really high. You can see he has a little bald spot here, but he doesn't want to drop it down any further. So I'm just gonna take that line across the top. Get all these little hairs here. Follow it all the way up to the sideburn. Straighten that out a little bit here. And while I've got my slim lines, I'm going to come over here and straighten this line out. When I'm doing these really small details, these, these lines, um, it's really important that you secure your grip. I always, I always have a double hand or I always anchor myself like I'm anchoring with my middle finger or my pinky or something so that I'm not going in willy-nilly. <laughs> Do your mustache next. For his mustache, we're gonna we're gonna take it above the lip. We're gonna taper it really well. I also like to come in with my trimmers and hit the top of the line of the mustache. And get underneath the nose. Get all those little hairs there. I do this with all of my clients. Lift the nose up, get these little hairs here. 
If they have nose hairs, just go in there and get them. Then to taper, I'm scooping, I'm doing a scooping up motion. I'm bringing the hair up at first. coming down with my tremors. And then I'm gonna take this line here. You don't really want it to come very much over the lip since we're taking it the line above the lip. So we're gonna just knock that out right there. You always you wanna always comb through the hair over and over again because you're gonna get hairs that are gonna kind of get left behind. Um, you always have stragglers. If you comb it over and over again, you're gonna eventually get all the hairs. Bring them out to the natural state and then cut. Really good way to get, especially if they have a small mouth, um, to get this line. Take your thumb, pull the skin back, and hit that line. That way, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna make room to come into the corner of the mouth as well. A lot of guys will get hairs that grow right up onto the lip and into the corner of their mouth. So it's kind of nice to get those out of the way. And he wants his, his mustache blended into the beard. So I'm just gonna do a little uh, clip over comb. Just barely blend it in there. I guess it would be trimmer over comb. Now you like this short right here, right? Yeah, you're short. Right where the sole patch, I guess, would be. Okay. And then uh, kind of square it off. And then you said before you want to keep this growing, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get that the same length as the rest of it. A lot of guys have a hard time getting this chin hair to grow for some reason, and so um, we're just we're not going to touch that much. Just get the dead end. Not crazy, but yeah, I love that so much. I'm going to take this up at an angle here. And I'm using the corner so you don't take off too much. And I always work from side to side, so I'm kind of leaving this over here. Yes, for when I come around to that side. Another little trick that you can do to get these hairs, because his hair growth comes this way. So I'm gonna push this down as much as I can, and then I'm gonna come up from this angle and just pat those ends there. It just kind of cleans it up a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next side. The, this part of the beard, I'm gonna leave for, um, when I, I'm gonna lean him back just a little bit. Um, so I can really get underneath here. And I'm just gonna take my shears and hit these ends to try to get the dead ends off. We're leaving most of that. Blend it down into the rest of the beard here. Okay, looking good so far with the lines. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Straight enough for you. Okay, now we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna throw the headrest in the back of the chair. So we can really get underneath here. If you um, if you try to go in with this long of a beard. Um, to get the underneath, you're, you're just gonna miss so many hairs, so you really need to get them back so we can get that angle, get all those hairs underneath there. They're pretty cool barber chairs. They are. We're gonna leave like right there. So like I said, you wanna pull all the hairs out to the natural state. With a big beard like this, you wanna get a, like a pick is really good to use. I'm gonna come up from underneath and pull it out as well. 
put the towel here so that we catch any hairs, keep them from going down. His shirt. Okay, so you ready to take some lace off? This is really hard for him. I trust you. <laughs> When it gets just so long down at the, the bottom, you know, it take just like an inch off and it makes it look so much fuller. Hey, how are you? You're taking an inch? Good, what are you doing for you? Yeah. We talked about a little bit. That's, I, yeah, that's a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I trust her. <laughs> no, it's good to get a, a clean cut every, every yeah. now and then. Keeping that square shape that he likes. These, I really like these um, cordless trimmers or cordless uh, clippers. Wall. Magic clips. They're my go tos for sure. Okay, so again, this is like, I'm not going to touch the side too, too much with my clippers. I'm going to come in with my shears and just kind of get the stragglers. See, it's not too much off. No, no not too much. Maybe we should take a little more off. Huh? Yeah? No? <laughs> a little more? A little more? A little bit? It'll grow back, right? It'll grow back. It'll grow yeah? back. Yeah? Let's do it. We always have to err on the side of length with him. I'm making sure my my uh, clippers are at the right angle. I'm not angling them down, and I'm going and I'm going a straight line, going straight back. Otherwise, you're gonna miss all those underneath hairs. Yeah, it'll be like hitting the reset button for your beard, baby. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do we look now? Oh yeah! Much fuller. Much fuller. Much better. Yeah. Love it. Okay. What do you I think we need to fade just a little bit right here. Since it's so short, short up here. We can. Yeah, well, like just right here, you mean? Yeah, it's a little bit. You want to fade down into it? Uh, maybe a little. Maybe a little? A little right there. Okay. So I actually have my half guard on now. I want to come in and just. And I'm listening to hear like what it's cutting and where. So now I know I'm going to open it up a little bit. I have really, really light pressure because I don't want to go in too hard and take off too much. I know you don't want to fade it down too much in there because you start to get, you start to thin out right here. So we're going to be really gentle. Okay, you want to check it out? Sure. Oh yeah. Is that a little go. better? Yeah. Okay. Like that. Other side. Okay, so now we've got the shape that we want. Um, we've took, we've taken all the length off. We've tapered him here, lined his cheeks, and tapered the mustache. Now is the fun part. We're gonna lay him back. We're going to um, whip up some lather and straight razor his cheeks and the sides here. We're not gonna touch the bottom of his neck at all. Um, because we want to keep that hair, that that girth grow, growing underneath here. 
At Garrett Michael, we're all about the experience here. So we're gonna, we want to make him feel relaxed and and um, and happy that he's here, right? So this is the fun part. Lots, lots of hot towels. This is really what sets us apart from the other barber shops around because we, because we make it about a relax, a relaxing experience for the client. Before we do the lather, um, this is where I like to come in with my shears, and I love my Hanzos. This is all I use. Um, I'm gonna come in and just kind of get the little stragglers, following the same shape that we created with the clippers. If you see dead ends, this is a good time to get them. And I'm really using a bouncing motion. I'm kind of bouncing off of the beard. Really just cleaning it up. This is a good time to come in um, underneath. I'm gonna grab my comb over here. And again, just to make sure we got all these hairs underneath here. Straighten that line out. Okay, now to whip the lather. I like to get my um, my razor really nice and hot. That way it slides a lot easier across the skin. I'm gonna use this um, this lineup gel. It's kind of a pre-shave. I like to use a gel because then you can see where you're going. Now the fun part. Straighten back out. How are you? Good, how are you? Checking the temperature on your wrist. We're going to put the towel underneath the beard here. So the towel is going to warm up these sides here and also his cheeks. Is that too warm? Uh, okay. And we're going to let him cook. While he's cooking, we'll whip the lather. You want it to be a really good consistency, not too thick, not too runny. You don't want it dripping down their face. But if it's too thick, it can kind of dry out this, the um, soap and then you have to re-wet it. So this is a nice consistency right here. Yeah. He's done cooking, so we'll come over here. After we do the shave, we put a cool towel on top of his face to close the pores. We're going to let that cool off while we shave him. And since I warmed up my blade, I'm gonna check it on my wrist to make sure it's not too hot for him. I'm gonna wipe away the lather so I can see where I'm shaving. You always wanna use a really light grip with the razor. Let the weight of the blade do the work. You don't need any pressure, hardly. You always want to make sure that you're reading the skin so you can feel for any bumps or pimples or anything. Stretching the skin taut so you get a good close shave. Make sure they move the earlobe out of the way. Clean up these little hairs down here while we're at it. Okay. 
I'm going to hit it with the very end of my blade and the very tip as well. Just sharpening up that line there. And then here by the cheek. Using the tip to just tap the line there. Now we're going to close the pores with a cool towel. So same placement. Drop it down under the beard here. Make sure it's touching everywhere that we shave. We don't want to keep the cool towel on too long, so it gets, gets uncomfortable for him. <laughs> We're going to really clean him up here. I'm using a different part of the towel every time I switch areas. So we don't cross contaminate. Cool him off with a little aftershave. Every, any motion you want to do with the neck or the face is always going to be up. Gravity does enough to bring us down, so we've got to do the opposite, bring it back up. Now is my favorite part, the beard oil and the balm. You want to use Tree Ranger? Gotcha. Okay. That's his favorite. Hurry. So a lot of guys don't know the difference between a balm and an oil. What I like to tell my clients is that the oil is to hydrate the skin and the hair follicles. Um, and the balm is to hydrate the hair itself. So if you have a shorter kind of business beard, you can get away with just using an oil. If you have a longer beard, like Eli's hair, you're definitely going to want to use an oil for the skin and a balm um, to hydrate both the skin and the hair. Use a couple scoops. And this is what you really want to rub it in through the hair, get down to the skin. He was noticing a little dry patch here, so he normally doesn't use oil at home. And after that dry patch, we found out why we use the oil. <laughs> I, keep right? it at I keep it at work. You do, that's right. The oil is pretty um, shiny. So I don't like to put that on the mustache. I'll usually use just the balm on this mustache. Emulsify it, make it, um, warm it up in your hands so you don't have any clumps. And you really want to work it in there. Use as much as you need. Especially here in Utah, we're so dry. We're in a total desert climate, and so you dry out really, really fast. We're gonna blow dry his beard out so we get that really full effect. I'm going to use the dryer on the lowest heat setting and the lowest fan setting. So I'm going to come down, but I'm also going to scoop from underneath. And just go straight down. If you've got a really curly beard, this is a good way to uh, kind of straighten it out a little bit too. Again, hitting it with the cool setting. Okay, baby, you ready to see? Yeah. There you go. Look at you. It looks so full. Look at it. Okay, so here's the finished product. We tapered him down nice and tight. Um, took quite a bit of length off for Eli standards. Yeah, but I, it looks a lot fuller. We look a lot healthier now. And hair always grows back, right? Exactly. So. Uh, <laughs> looks great.
often copied, often imitated, often compared to, it is the pinnacle beard oil in the market. Head over to beardbrand.com and invest in your beard, invest in yourself, and keep on growing.